Good morning, folks. This is Jacob Folger, artist sculptor, and today I'm doing a painting tutorial. Now, uh, sometimes I create the way I create. I, you know, I don't have a plan, you know, but I have to use my own material to make the videos. So I don't like. Um, I just paint and then I just film it and I do a tutorial. That's how I do it. So. What I'm thinking is a really colorful uh, kind of uh, winter scene. And so what I've got on the paper is purple, uh, bright aqua green, and light blue. And this is a paper towel. And I am just dabbing it like that. I do want to get the paper covered. Pretty. That's pretty. And by the way, uh, just to let you know, I know a lot of people would say, oh, if I did that, I would make a muddy mess. It's not going to happen with these colors. So don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. These are pretty, huh? I like this purple up in here. I don't really want to mess with that, but maybe bring some of it down. I like that bright. Yeah, that bright purple, that's pretty. I'm kind of swirling a little bit to work it into the paper. I still kind of want that, uh, you know, stippled um, texture, I think. But this is like, this is basically stippling, this uh, motion. Okay. Now, uh, let's see, what can we do here? Uh, here's some white paint. And, you know, I really like fan brushes. Let me get my fan brush here. Fan brush. And some white paint. And I'm just going to relax it on my workspace here a little bit. Oh, let's see. Now I have to think about this a minute because I'm not really really mature. But you know, like maybe some nice little pine trees. You know, since the, everything's wet here, um, I have to wipe my brush every time I go to dip into the paint. Otherwise, I'll contaminate my paint. So. Uh, And then I just do this, and it makes this like a little kind of pine tree kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And I do, uh, I am a wet on wet painter. I like it. Because the colors are just different and it's pretty and I just like the way it looks. And, and I also like uh, that uh, the colors will mix together and make these really kind of interesting textures and colors. It's really quite beautiful. You know, maybe it's something like that. And then, uh, maybe a little bit more white paint on my fan brush. Fan brushes, I mean, you can use them for all kinds of things, but one thing that's just really kind of nice is uh, lightly painting like that, you know. <laughs> and you know, I do, I do like to paint water reflections. You know, I mean, if you look at my, uh, if you look at my uh, channel here, you'll see that's what I do a lot of. Or maybe something like that. This is kind of a light going on here. <laughs> so I would encourage you to maybe, when you're doing this, uh, I mean, by all means, if you want to do a likeness of that, of this is fine. But, you know, consider maybe <coughs> putting trees <coughs> somewhere else and over here, a tree over there. I mean, just 
maybe do something different or a different kind of tree. Maybe. Like, uh, <coughs> by the way, I have COVID. <laughs> <coughs> that doesn't seem to be holding me down, though. I mean, I had a bad night. It was a lot of sweating and... <laughs> chills and all that sort of thing, you know. I'm just wondering what was wrong with me, because I don't usually get sick. I just love, I just love the way the, the, you you can see, I'll, I'll do a close up here, you can see how the purple is mixing with the white. And that is because everything is wet. And that is just a beautiful thing about, um, being wet on wet. We'll do that, and then uh, I think probably a moon. I don't like to mess with it too much. I don't. I I have on occasion used little pill bottle lids. Um, that sort of thing, but I, I, it feels kind of unnatural to me or something. <laughs> I don't know. But you can, yeah, you can paint the edge of a lid. Let me show you. Let's get a lid here. Uh, you can take a small lid and just paint the edge of it. And then just put it down where you want and it'll put an outline. And then you can just fill it in. But I... I like my paints to be a little bit more loose. I don't like to, I, I just, um, I don't, I don't really like to create like that. I have done it, but I don't like it. That's a kind of thick one. <laughs> I might want to use it a little thicker. So I made that so thick. <laughs> and now I'll get my trusty uh, band brush and put a reflection here for the this tree. on this a little bit more. So you can see what I'm doing. I mean, this is, uh, you know, it's really simple stuff. I mean, it, you know, it may not seem like it is to you. I don't think you, I, I, I don't, hope you're not thinking it's daunting though, eh? I mean, this is, I think, very doable for people. I think the thing that, uh, holds people back from trying is fear. Or procrastination or, you know, something like that. I don't know, but, uh... Ah, that's nice. I think that's nice. Um, I'd like to do more with that tree, though. I think I'll just throw it out more. I'm not really sure of this. My brushes, by the way, uh, you know, I am a minimalist as far as tools go. I have a few palette knives. This is actually uh, an old oil brush, and the fan brush is an oil brush. That's how I am. I'm the same way with sculpting. I, you know, use my hands and. 
um, really just a few tools, and that's how I am, you know. So, I mean, you could essentially do this with, um, you know, with very limited tools. You can just see his colors mixing. <laughs> Quite beautiful, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of filling out the tree. <laughs> but yeah, that's the painting. <laughs> and I uh, hope you'll give this a shot. It's really fun. Now, I do paint on wet and wet, and I've been telling my students, or my viewers, that... You can wait for paint to dry, and maybe it won't be, um, it may it may be easier for you to do that, because, you know, it may not work for you the same way it works for me. Keep in mind, I paint on a regular basis all the time, and in this style, uh, you know, wet on wet. So, um, you can wait, like, you could do the background, and then you could wait for that to dry, and then you could do the trees in the white part, and then you'd be done. Or you could do it wet on wet. So I, I would try it both ways if I were you. Um, let's get some close-ups. This is really pretty. Really, and so easy and fun and rewarding. <laughs> now I really hope you will give it a shot. And if you do, please send me a photo. My contact information is in the video description down below the video. Um, please subscribe to my channel for um, over 500 tutorials and more coming um, on making art obtainable to the average person. And I do sculpture and uh, painting. Yeah, so check it out. And. Uh, Hit that bell icon so we get a notification when I upload. Look at these nice colored mixes of purple and white. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> Very nice. Please give the video a like, leave me a comment, tell me where you're watching from because I'd really like to know. And did you find the video a good video for you? Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Have a great day. I just realized it would look really good with stars or snow or something like that, and I want to show it to you. So uh, all you need really is a toothbrush. So you can also use a fan brush or something like that, uh, but you're gonna basically get it wet with white paint and just flick it with, uh, let me get a little white paint on here. Because I just did this and it really looks nice. You know? So you just do this, you just flick it with the uh, toothbrush and um, so spray it on there. So, yeah.